The monopod. This is a basic tool for all news photographers. Um, we all use them, we all have them. The reason you use them is to support any kind of long lens. Uh, you can't really shoot for a long time with a long lens without a monopod. Sporting events generally last two to three hours, and if you don't have your lens sitting on the monopod, when something happens, you won't have time to bring it up to your eye and shoot. So we continually rest the camera on the monopod and have it at the ready for anything, any event. The reason I use this one is it's smaller, it's light, it's short, it has quick releases that allow you to extend it in a very short period of time. Or if you have to move and leave a position, you can retract it very quickly. And they lock positively and they don't slip. Also, with this, I've put a bunch of sweatbands around the upper leg of the, of the monopod. So when I put it on my shoulder, it's cushioned. And when I carry it in the winter, it's not freezing cold because it's insulated by these sweatpants. We don't always just use the monopod for long glass. We also use it for short lenses when we're trying to shoot over a crowd of people, for instance. At the auto show recently, there were thousands of people gathered around every car on the weekend. So I brought out my monopod, put on my wireless remotes, put the 16 to 35 on the camera, and put it on the monopod. Then I can simply lift it up over the people and aim it at the car and all the people around it and trigger it from this remote at the bottom. You can even see the pictures on the back of the camera just to judge the angle and where you're aiming it. A third way we use our monopods is with a gimbal mount. The gimbal mount allows you to pan smoothly and tilt smoothly because it's centered on the, on the center of gravity of the lens and the camera so that they're basically weightless. You can just move them effortlessly with your hand while you're shooting. In a normal monopod situation where you have to tilt, you have to sort of push the monopod forward or pull the monopod back, and it's difficult to keep looking through the camera as you're doing that. I use this mainly at the hockey game. That allows me to sit in a seat, use the monopod, because it's very constricted there, pan freely, and tilt the camera as well. I also use the gimbal mount at the air show because it allows you to track planes as they fly past you or track them as they fly overhead. This allows you to save your energy and save your concentration for finding that shot because you don't know when it's going to happen. So a couple of final words about a monopod. One of the tricks I like to do is I keep duct tape wrapped around the top leg so that if I ever need duct tape, and photographers always need duct tape, it's right there and handy. To stow it and carry it with me, I put a little tie wrap through the strap here and I have a, a, a beaner that will clip on. I can just clip it on my belt and my hands are free to shoot just like that. And the other thing of course is this is just a plain old aluminum monopod. It costs fifty, sixty dollars. The carbon fiber version costs three to four times that and it hurts a lot worse if you lose the carbon fiber one. Add this very useful and inexpensive tool to your photo kit. For thestar.com, I'm David Cooper.